This is a fucking tutorial. Okay, you see that shit? That's custom. That's fucking. It's fucking mad. I swear you did. Oops. Anyway, that's what that is. It's fucking crazy. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you get that in your fucking map. Okay, so. First of all, you're gonna have Maya, and you gotta have some patience, and you gotta have Kronos, and yeah, the mod tools, obviously. You can go to TurboScript or pretty much any sort of 3D model archive. There's loads. You can just type in free 3D model, and then you know, pretty much try try them all. Try them. I've just gone to TurboScript because it's one that I end up going to. There are lots of good models and lots of bad models, and I've also typed in. Um, free somewhere no free search type free um and i've put in the format ma because it works best you can also use obj mb and so forth and i've just flicked through for mm, i'd pick something random oh. okay so i found this which is a tombstone mayor it's royalty free license all extended users blah blah blah, blah. means we can use it it might have a license against it, so be careful which one you use. You and see here, we've got all these different things. We're gonna use the .ma, and we're gonna do save. Okay, well that hasn't come with any images, so that's no good to us. Let's have a look in here. Oh, textures.raw, okay, save. You wanna make sure that you have the color textures and normal maps if they do as well, just to make it looking cooler. So we're gonna copy that textures, and we also need the file we just downloaded, Tombstone, there, copy. We're gonna go to the desktop and do temp, Tombstone, paste them in there, and extract those textures. Okay, so it looks like we got the normal one and all that shit. Nice. Standard, and then there's uh, specular, I guess, and the normal. What we can do then is open up the Maya file. If it's an object, just open it up in Maya as well. Don't worry if you can't see it, like a lot of the time, um, you won't be able to see what the hell's going on. We've got the model here. And what we're going to do is just go to the hypershade and see that the images came in, which they didn't. You're going to have to fuck around sometimes. Sometimes it works straight away, sometimes it won't. If we go to standard here, and go to where it says color, and go to where this file thing is, and then go to where we had the image. So it was this one go here like this okay so we've got that in there that's all good and now we can close that so we just assigned the texture to the one that it's expecting the next thing we want to do is select everything you can go here and open up this thing which will allow you to select the actual entities you want to select the one which has all the little triangles the mesh thing go to select do hierarchy click on that and then you want the Call of Duty Maya tools and to do export X model. And I'm going to export it directly into the model export. I've got a custom folder in here called custom and miscellaneous. And I'm just going to call it custom the model tomb stone. Okay, and we've done that. And uh, now we've got to do export. No. And it worked, which is good. That's half the battle. Okay, if it didn't work, there's a number of reasons that that might be why. Um, one, you want to make sure that you've only got meshes selected and possible joins and stuff. But the next thing is to make sure that there aren't too many vertices, polygons, faces. You know, if you're trying to import something that's too big, then you're going to be hitting limits. And three, if there's some weird textures and stuff assigned to it, then it might mess up. You know, and not everything will work. The next thing we want to do is see where this standard. Open that up in Paint on that, and to do save and to save it as a TIFF. And we're going to go to the Call of Duty Black Ops route, texture assets, go to create a new folder, custom miscellaneous. I'm going to do one for the tombstone and we're going to save it in there. The next thing we're going to do is open up the normal map and do the same thing. We're going to do save as and go to the texture assets, go to miscellaneous tombstone to make sure you save it as a TIFF. Save, we can close that. Uh, the next thing we want to do 
is because it doesn't export right and it breaks you want to use Kronos go to the model and anim converter then go to your root and go to the model export where we had it which was miscellaneous and then the tombstone this one here and you want to drag the X model export in and then you'll see that it adds it to the exported anims and then you want to drag it back so we've just overwrote the model bin okay and now we can go to ape in ape i advise you create your own gdt i've made one called custom models and i just have a few little models in there that i dragged in like i made a bench earlier and a tree once you create a new gdt you can go up here click on this button or go file new gd new gdt and call it whatever you like uh, right click on it do new asset and select the x model and call it whatever you like i'm going to prefix it with custom model and then call it tomb Stone. And then you hit OK and you see how it's like this, that's no problem. You go to LOD0 file and then you specify the model that it needs to be attached to. So in this case it's the tombstone bin file and there we go, we have a tombstone except it has no textures. So that's the next thing we gotta do, which is go down here. So where it says Blin, that's just the name in Maya. If we go back here, you can see here it's called Blin1. Don't worry about the standard thing, you might not have that there. But okay, so we're gonna click on this little blue thing with a little add and hit asset name as fine. Press OK. And then we're gonna set it up with the standard material type, which is lit. For most things, it's lit. If unless you know what you're doing, then leave it as lit. This is gonna be a tombstone, and a tombstone's usually like a concrete or a stone or something like that that so we'll go with concrete concrete would do quite well and probably a concrete gloss as well uh, no use in the editor and we go down to where it says color map click on the little image with the little plus sign do ok and then we're going to go click on the three little dots go to texture assets custom misc and then we got the tombstone here standard open okay i'm going to save that go back to the material which in this case is the blend and we're going to go down to where it says normal now do the new one press okay go three little dots and add in the normal don't worry it'll still work if you don't have a normal with it but it just won't look as cool so make sure you get those normals in if it didn't come with a normal you can go to this website which is pretty cool and you can create one so just look in the description for a link and create one and then include this okay so now if we go back to the tombstone sorry if that was loud but boom we have fucking done it son look go back it says rip oh that's beautiful uh make sure you save all up here hey that's pretty much it you've done it there so if you want to find out how to sort them out in radiant the sizing and to have clips so that it shows damage right and all little bits and pieces you're going to want to check out in the next video chuck a comment if you've got any questions throw a like share the video help me out and yeah subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more take care and that's it from me see ya